Hey guys, it's Andre from the High Performance Academy and we're here with Scott from Helltech Engine Management. Scott, thanks for coming along and having a chat to us. Could you just give us a little bit of history on what Helltech is and where you guys have come from? For sure. Look, Helltech was uh, sort of the first programmable engine management systems back in 1986. Um, the company sort of went to get quite big up until around 2000-ish, give or take, when the owners of the company actually passed away. Uh, some new, new owners have come through. Um, spent a lot of time and a lot of money developing a current series, a platinum series range of ECUs. Um, so now we're sort of starting to get right into the position where we've got most of the markets covered, we've got all our data acquisition, we've got our, all our ancillary systems all sort of happening. Um, and sort of a nice young company that we're ready to come through and, and take over the world. Great. I mean, my experience with Helltech from back in those early days, and I know you were one of the pioneering companies, the older E8 and E11 ECUs. Now, I take it that was from the, the previous management, is that correct? That's exactly right. So what's happened was the E8 and E11, or the, the Red Box series, um, was towards the end of the, the previous owners of the company. So the new owners have been around for nearly 10 years now. Um, I became on the same day as the new owners um, and from the first day so all new development stuff, a lot more development happening um, and a lot more products getting released a lot sooner. So for those of the, us out there who are used to the, or familiar with the older E8 and E11, the new Platinum series, basically we're talking a completely different ECU, much more up to date, a lot more advanced features and far easier and superior to tune with? Everything about the new series is completely different, exactly right. So we've got all the new tuning software, so you can see behind us here, everything is fully Windows based now, so all the bar graphs and that's all of the legacy style tuning tech style that we used to have is actually still available, you can still use it, um, but things have gone a, a lot further now. So all of our advanced tuning functions are all there. Um, uh, pretty much any, any function that anyone wants, we'll add it in there and get everything sorted straight away. So we've got the ability to add yeah, everything. One, one of the things with the new Platinum series I've noticed is you're now doing a proper volumetric efficiency modelled uh, tuning system, which is, is quite unique. There's not too many ECU manufacturers out there. What was the drive behind going in that direction? Uh, well look, you're using a couple of different tuning techniques, coming back to volumetric efficiency is by far the easiest thing to do where in your fuel table you're probably going to end up with a lot less cells to be tuning. Uh, to get something basically up and running you don't need to be a, a complete engine tuner. To understand volumetric efficiency and just to get something started and running in your driveway so to suit a lot of our market, um, it really gives the end user something they can get started, get running, then take it to their tuning professional. So volumetric efficiency uh, makes everything a lot, I found just makes everything a lot easier and you do get a lot smoother tune out of everything. Yeah, sure, sure. What is it do you think about Helltech these days that, that gives you a competitive advantage in the aftermarket engine management marketplace? Uh, pretty much the, the company um, built on a, on a really young group of people. So the average age at Helltech will be somewhere between about 25 and 35. Uh, most of us who work there either own high performance cars or race cars or work on race cars after hours. So everyone that's there has a passion for race cars. We're all there, we all want to make power. They're internally in Haltech, there, there is a bit of competition between us on who's got the most power on our dyno and, and who's got the fastest street car at Haltech. So I think between having a young group of people there and we all enjoy ourselves, everyone's mates and we're all having a good time. Having that allows us to, to really go as far as we can. So everyone, we all want to help each other and, and we all really are, are keen on helping out everyone who's racing all these cars. Cool, sounds like you've got a great team dynamic there which must, must make it a, a really fun place to work. What, what, um, what is your current drive towards development? Are you looking more along the lines of uh, standalone management, universal standalone management, or are you developing a lot more of the plug and play models? Well look, at the moment we've got our two ranges, so we've got our sport series, which is our wiring systems, whereas our pro systems at the moment are all direct plug-in units. So into the future we will be doing more direct plug-in units, uh, as well as expanding all of the pro series functions into our sport range. So we'll end up with a generic ECU that has all of the functions of the Pro Series stuff. Obviously these days cars are getting more complicated and you've got CAN communication, possibly multiple CAN buses, talking to dash units, gearbox controllers etc. 
what sort of challenges does that give you when you're trying to develop a plug and play ECU for a really modern, sophisticated car? For sure. Look, a lot of that sort of stuff, anything that's dual CAN based, straight away Haltech jumps on the car. So at any time, we've normally got about three development cars. Um, so at the moment, we've got an 86, uh, we've got the 370Z. Um, and we're currently looking for another development car, um, but a little bit of research to go through and find the right cars to choose. But normally we find that it's really is six to 12 months of development just to make sure that everything's communicating, um, even finding parts like ECU connectors and that sort of stuff, everything takes time. So we like to own the cars, um, do all the development and drive them as our own cars before we're releasing anything to the public. Cool. Uh now you're a, an Australian based manufacturer, you're definitely one of the, uh, the better known EC manufacturers around the world. What's your sort of uh, market like in other parts of the world? Where about are your strongest? Where would people maybe have seen your ECUs? Uh, well look, obviously in Australia, we're, we're in Sydney, um, in Australia we do have a real big market share. Um, we do have an office in America as well, so in Kentucky, we've got a bunch of guys there and, and deal with all fi about 50 states. Um, throughout the rest of the world, we're really, really big in the Middle East, um, Japan and through Asia now as well. So things are yeah, getting much bigger every day and growing every day, so the ball's rolling. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Okay, can you give us any sneak peeks, any little insights uh, into any products that you might have up your sleeve? What, what can we look forward to coming out in the next few months? Right, in the next couple of months, you'd be aware, SEMA's coming up in America. Um, probably one of the biggest car shows in the year. So. How about keep an eye on the SEMA stand, um, all the Haltech guys will be there, so have a bit of a look through. There's some very, very exciting products that we're going to be releasing at SEMA. Uh, mate, have a bit of a look through, I'm sure that everyone will be really excited. Oh, sounds exciting Scott, sounds like there's some uh, things in the pipeline we might have to keep our eye on. Hey look, I want to thank you for coming along and taking the time to talk to us today. And um, if people want to buy Haltech product, whereabouts should they go to? Mate, jump on our website, it's just Haltech.com. Uh, we've got a dealer section in there, so you can find your local Haltech dealer. Give them a call, have a chat with them, or give us a call or send us an email. Um, we can sort of go through your project with you and then decide and, and help you out with the right person to go to, to to get sorted out. Great. Well, look, thanks a lot for coming along, Scott. Appreciate your time. Always a pleasure, mate. Thanks for having us. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.